What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. And today we're going to be taking a look at some more Bowman, 2023 Bowman. And this here is uh, the retail box, y'all. A little bit bigger than your blaster box. It is more expensive. You got 24 packs in this box. And for about $140, that's what this box will cost you. So basically for the price of a hobby box... You can get two of these. So what we're going to do in this break is determine whether we would prefer to have two of these or one hobby box. Now granted, you are not guaranteed an auto in this box. The odds of getting an auto is very, very good. But you do not have them odds to get the auto. So, But I can guarantee you guys... The amount of colored parallels that you would get out of this box is absolutely probably twice as much, maybe even more than you would get out of a hobby box. But we're going to let the video determine that today, y'all. As you can see, these are little hanger packs. Retail packs is what these are. Like I said, these are about $140. You might can shop around and get them a little bit cheaper. We're going to go through this, y'all. Got us a little tag on the back. And let's see what we can find out of one retail box, y'all. And we done seen a lot of it. We're going to roll through this. and see if we can't find some nice ones in here. Now, in retail, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet. The only autos you can get, you can get the, auto, oh, the green, which those are a little tough to pull. So you got the green autos, you can get the uh, yellows out of 75, and then outside of that, base autos, that's it. And that's the Prospect Chrome Autographs. We already got one color coming up, paper color. So you cannot get the Super Fractor autos, reds, oranges, golds, definitely not going to come out of the retail but unless prices ever come down on hobby, I just, I don't know. I don't see it worth it. We got a first, Kansas City. We got Juan Olmos. Olmos, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. And that one there is out of $4.99. So a couple of packs in, a very nice youngster there, signed last year in the international signing class. So one color to start it out. Just a few packs in. And some of these boxes are better than others. I've, I've seen some where you only got two chrome colors, which is still not bad considering that out of a hobby box, you might only get two chrome colors. I mean, seriously. Brett Beatty, rookie of your favorite. Luciano and Hector Rodriguez. Another thing, you get a lot of cards out of this box. And something else to consider, man, them chrome cards of the top guys, they do add up, y'all. I mean, you get a couple of Drew Jones, Hosway, I mean, they will definitely add up. I mean, Drew Jones, just his chrome card, base chrome card right now is probably selling around $15, maybe even more. Fernandez, Chrome, and Santos. But, like I said, the autos, you can't get all the low-numbered autos, but you can still get all of the low-numbered all base parallels. So any of the gold, reds, all that stuff, you can definitely get out of retail. Top 100, there's my boy straight out of LSU, Jacob Berry. Carlos George, nice one there. Kenny Gomez. Braylon Bishop. And I'm pretty sure that these retail boxes, the odds are basically the same as blaster boxes. The exact same. And base autos are like 1 in 60. 64 packs, something like that. There's a nice spotlight. Haven't seen that one yet. Mr. Michael Harris. That's a nice one there. I really enjoy that insert. 
There's Big Mash Mervis, Khalil Watson, so a nice chrome there. Bowman should be coming out with the, uh, looks like we got a purple chrome coming up. Another color. But yeah, I've seen where the uh, mega boxes are coming out. Those usually are a Target only release. So hopefully I'll be able to pick up a couple of them from Target. And then they should have the Sapphire as well. There's a nice Gabriel Gonzalez paper. And our purple is a non-first Zach Nito. Already got his call up. So nothing too crazy there, but we will take it. 77 of 250. So two colors so far. Would love to see an auto. In years past, they used to have uh, Bowman Fat Packs and then the Value Packs, and I haven't seen any of them yet. I don't know. Somebody might can correct me in the comments or let me know. I don't know if they have any or not. And check it out, guys. This is what I'm telling y'all. Diego Hernandez, right off the top, right there. 14 of 99. Super, super tough cards to pull here the greens are not easy to pull he's a little bit older so don't know too much about him the number 21 uh 21st ranked prospect in the organization for the orioles excuse me the royals but nonetheless y'all it is an auto and you never know when that guy he might show out that's what i'm telling y'all man these retail boxes are just loaded So right now, we ain't even halfway through this box. And sometimes you can't get this out of a hobby box. That, that's what I'm trying to tell people. And yes, you're not guaranteed these autos every time. Absolutely not. But you got a very good chance at it. And we just pulled one. Rojas, but yeah, I haven't seen uh, any of the fat packs. So y'all let me know if y'all seen any of those in Walmart And I haven't seen Bowman in the wild at all everything I've seen Or everything I've got has been online bought everything from Target and tops Raffaella There's mr. Hoxway. We'll take him and Camonero. Let's see their chromes Roder Reyes. Even those papers, man, they'll add up. No doubt about it. Mr. Michael Harris, I've seen a couple of him already. You will get some duplicates out of these packs or these boxes here. There's a nice one there. Justin Crawford Chrome and Garcia. So Picking up a few nice chromes. And this pack here will mark halfway. That first half of this box was very nice. And we got another one coming up. Another parallel. Miguel Vargas. Brooks Lee. Mr. Averson Ortega. Another non-first, but a nice one there. Tamar Johnson. So add it to the parallel list. Four parallels in one half. Now we might open this whole side and not get another color, but keep in mind, two of these boxes equals one hobby box. I think you can already get the point on which I know where I'd rather spend my money. Brett Beatty. Luis Rodriguez, Ramirez, and Jet Williams from the 2022 draft class. <clears throat> Looks like another spotlight card. It is nice. Adley Rushman, so two of the top rookies in the class. 
Turning out to be a pretty good box here, y'all. Man, this has been a good year for the channel. Just been pulling some nice stuff. There's one of the top guys for the Reds, Carlos. Anthony there for the Red Sox. A lot of these guys in this set are so raw still. Very, very young. Ezekiel Tovar. I guess he's going to be in Series 2. Drew Jones paper. I'll take it. Let's see his chrome. Parada. Gutierrez. Yeah, I need to get another Drew, Drone, Drew Jones Chrome. I think I only got one so far. I've opened a few blasters. I haven't pulled many of them. Mejia. Chromes of Montgomery and Drew Gilbert. Top pick of the Astros last year. I remember last year, the packs that had this uh, security tag in it, like nine times out of ten, had the hits in them. It was crazy. The Lawler. Lionel James. Mr. Trey Sweeney. All right, let's see another color now. Gunnar Henderson. Alonzo or Crohn's or Grego. There we go, Junior Caminero. Put him in a good pile, and that's a pretty nicely centered one. I'll take it. Let's see that. Drew Jones Chrome. Well, I guess all the color was in that uh, first half. That was where all the beans was at. Kumar Rocker. There's another Matt Mervis. Figueroa, another guy to collect. Arroyo, another nice one. Churio, Henry Ramos. And they always have a lot of these guys that sign that don't have base cards as well. Diego Hernandez, he does not have a base card in this set. At least, not that I'm aware of. JJ. Adley Rushman. Chrome's True Jones, let's go. The box that keeps giving. A couple of little stains on it, but I think it's going to turn out to be pretty good. Now give me the Hoshway. And we would have gotten all three of the top guys in this set. Either that I think, anyway. Cam Collier is another one you could make an argument for. Spencer Jones. They got a lot of nice names in this set. Nelson Rada, another nice name. The guy for the Angels to collect. All right, we got three packs to go. Can we get another color? And again, guys, let me know what y'all think of the retail again. Just curious to hear y'all's thoughts on this format here, the retail boxes. Did y'all go out and get any? Sounded like the comments on my last video, some people have really been hitting some nice stuff out of retail. Jesus Baez and... That fella there, two packs to go. Thought we would have got maybe one more color, but maybe not. But even still, man, you can't complain with the color and what you got out of one box. Simon Juan and Herrera. Her Herrera. All right, y'all, last pack. To round out this box. And it looks like we got us a bent corner sky blue. So another parallel nonetheless. Come on, big name. There's Cam Collier. 
Jason Churio, George Burgos, and first, Tampa Bay Brock Jones. Let's go. Another nice name. So, guys, there it is. I don't even have another stand to put him. So, one retail box. We got the green auto, two sky blues, a chrome out of 250, and the color paper out of 499. Man, you just can't beat it, y'all. A very nice box. I will take that any day of the week. And not including all of the chromes we got of the top guys. So very, very nice box here. Guys, if you can and you want to rip this stuff, get retail while it lasts. Because the retail is definitely going to dry up. And the prices on these retail boxes and blasters will go up once they're dried up. So get it now while you can, guys. I'm going to get on out of here. We're going to have a good stretch without any releases. So I'm going to see what I can do to fill the voids while we're waiting on some new releases. But we'll try to stay active, guys. If y'all don't mind, please leave me a thumbs up. And I'll see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.